Hello everybody, it's okay, it's the 15th of uh, March now and the tree seems to have uh, or seems to be recovering from its little setback when it was clobbered by the frost I'm going to pinch out that tall growth there um, the new growth on these, this tree is incredibly red but then it fades to this dark purple that's already almost turning black um, making it quite an interesting little tree for a tanner. Quick close up of those leaves. Um, and as you can see, they do indeed go very, very dark. The 15th of May, and um, this is the cheap £10. A Japanese maple that I picked up at the supermarket that I repotted this February and I had planned to do a timey-wimey transition video um, showing its new growth and it started off quite splendidly and then was hit quite badly by a sharp frost um, and we had some dieback and I had to do some trimming but it is now finally at last recovering so well, it's not going great guns, so I'm going to make this a timey-wimey video um, and try and take me time with it. It's the 7th of June now and this uh, £10 Japanese maple has fully recovered from getting clobbered by the frost back in the spring and is beginning to throw out some nice new shoots. The leaves are turning that deliciously dark shade of purple, almost black, that they had last year. Um, which is what pleased me so much about this maple. So um, I think it's going to have to have a new front because it's lost some branches in this side of the tree with the frosts. Um, so otherwise it's all growing out in this side um, and I think the wind caught the frozen branches on this side and that's what caused the dieback. Uh, I'm going to let it grow on for a little bit longer before I pinch out some of these tips but yeah I'm glad to say it is surviving nicely. Just a quick close up on those leaves. Um, I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but they are such a dark red, dark purple in fact, but they, um, they almost look black under certain lights. You can see the newer leaves are very purple. The very new leaves are very red. And then these older leaves darken up deliciously. So it's the uh, 21st of June today and the tree's been quite slow in its growth um, so I haven't really done anything more with it. I'm now going to pinch out this long growth that's been growing at the back um, in my thumbnail if I can. Uh, I might even try and root that. It's the uh, 14th of July and uh, the eagle-eyed amongst you might notice that the tree is not really developing that well. I know it was clobbered by the frost earlier in the season um, but I've got some serious issues going on down at the bottom of the trunk here. It's still pushing out new, new healthy looking growth at the top albeit slowly. Uh, let's move you in and show you the base of the trunk. We have uh, the bark is split and peeled away from the, the root here and is splitting and dying up the trunk. Um, 
making me worry it's some sort of phytophthora. The tree is trying to heal itself despite these splits. Um, it's throwing out some new shoots at the back, but essentially this is the only strip of bark, living bark, that is left at the moment. And I really don't know. I'm kind of keeping the tree away from the others in a kind of uh, quarantine area in case it's some sort of fungal thing that might kick off some spores and infect the other trees. I'm wondering whether the mix is too wet, although it's essentially the same mix that uh, my other maples are in that aren't experiencing this, so yeah, bit of a mystery. Anyone got any ideas? Let me know in the comments. Funny story. I forgot to switch on the microphone, so I managed to record all of this. No audio. And uh, as it's now a couple of days later when I'm actually looking at the footage, I've completely forgotten what it was I said, why I said it, and who I said it for. But anyway, the um, tree, as you saw in the earlier piece of video, it's got this weird dieback, and I thought the tree wasn't going to make it, but instead it shot out this huge piece at the top. Um, it's still growing away healthily, and it's still throwing out shoots from the... Uh, from the base of the tree, from the healthy tissue. So, although I've been keeping it in a kind of quarantine section away from my other Japanese maples, I'm not entirely convinced it is a disease as such. So I may just have to put up with the fact that this tree has a lot of deadwood. And uh, I know the purists don't like deciduous trees with charis and gins, but uh, looks like this tree is going to have a shari whether I like it or not that's assuming of course it makes the winter I decided to um, cut back this way tall piece and uh, maybe I'll take some cuttings off of that is what I said I remember saying that but I didn't and uh, yeah it's really hard recreating audio from a video you took a couple of days ago, but there you go. I've had a go at it. Um, we'll come back and see how this tree looks in the autumn. So it's the uh, 26th of September today, and I'm still baffled by this tree. Uh, the dieback has kind of continued up this side of the trunk. Um, but the tree has continued to shoot from below and on this side of the trunk. Um, this piece, in fact, is growing away rather nicely, rather healthily. So I'm still baffled as to what is the, the problem and uh, what the long-term prognosis for this tree is going to be. At the end of the day, it only cost me a tenner and uh, a little bit of outlay for the the compost but it might survive it might not survive the winter only time will tell I still love this almost black foliage um, so if I can save it so much the better but uh, as I don't know what's wrong with it I don't know where to begin to try and save it I'm just going to let it grow for the rest of this season um, there's not much of that left put it somewhere sheltered over winter and uh, we'll come back and see what happens in the spring. In the meantime, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, do all the usual YouTube things, the liking, the subscribing, the commenting. Let me know if you've ever seen anything like this and uh, what do you think? The trees are uh, destined for that great bonsai show in the sky um, or whether it's going to survive. But also, please, 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 stay safe, everybody.